Alright, I have just finished another one of my ocarinas, and before I move on to the next one, I'm going to do a very, very quick demonstration of how it sounds on my tuner. Now, when I cycle through the notes, it's going to flick around just a little bit, that's normal, as long as it stays in the green, the needle in center, and this green light lighting up, since it's a little hard to see the needle, the green light will light up if the needle's in center, that means it's in tune. If it, like, stays, for example, on the red, I mean, it doesn't just flicker to the red, if it stays there for a while, like how I'm talking, for some reason I'm talking out of tune, uh, then there's a problem and I need to retune the ocarina. Now, I'm not going to play every note because it's still very wet, and if I slide my finger to cover it halfway, I've actually, uh, this is my second attempt doing the video, I caved in one of the holes and had to restart that whole thing. That was annoying, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to quickly go through uncovering each hole one at a time. Now, if all the holes stay in the green light, did it just die? Tell me my tuner did not just die. Ah, damn it. One moment. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's not dead yet. Not dead. My tuner's actually dying. I'm gonna have to get a new one if I can't fix it. But, uh... Well, let's just start the video quickly because I am wasting time and this thing is on its last legs running out of power. So, you see a little battery flashing saying, I am dying. So, we'll start it. Okay, so you just saw the little demonstration of uh, most of the notes on the ocarina. I didn't do any of the sharps, or some of the sharps or flats, because that would require covering some of the holes halfway, and last time I did that, I kind of ruined the fingering. So, it's still very wet, don't want to do that. But, it did stay in the green light the whole time. It's dead. It's dead. Damn it. Well, it did stay in the green light the whole time, so that's very good. It did flicker to the red and the other red for a little moment. Oh, there it goes. It did flicker to the red for a moment, but that is normal because when you switch from one note to the other, just for that split second, that half a second, it is confused for a moment. But as long as I hold the notes slowly and long enough, it'll stay there. And with the same breath. I mean, if I change my breath control on the last note, for example, See, it'll just flicker all over the place, but if I hold the note right... See, it'll stay in the green. Now, that's not the full... This isn't the full video that I'm going to do. I'm still going to make another one of these tuning videos to show that my ocarines aren't tuned. I'm going to show every note, not just the main ones. I'm going to do that with... Uh, this thing, hopefully, it's going to be a 10-hole ocarina if all goes well. And I will do that video once this tuner is either repaired or replaced. So, that is still coming. This isn't the main tuning video that's been requested, but it's just a little demonstration to keep people happy until I get the main one done. Because I don't have enough power to waste on this thing. I'm going to turn it off so it doesn't waste power, actually. I don't have enough power to waste on this thing to do a full long video showing each and every note and how it's tuned and how it's in tune. But for now, this will do. Hopefully. Hopefully. Now, for those of you who don't know and you're wondering why I'm trying to conserve as much power on this thing as I can, it's because... One of the batteries in the back, let me get a light on that so you can see. One of the batteries, focus camera, come on, come on, there you go. One of the batteries in the back of the tuner blew up and rusted shut inside of it. I can get the first battery out, I can get the first one out, but I cannot get the second, oh geez, that's really stuck in there. I cannot get the second one out for the life of me, and if I do manage to break it out, it might destroy what's left of the spring there if that's even qualifies as a spring any more. So when this thing runs out of power, if I cannot fix it, come on, focus camera. If I cannot fix it, when it runs out of power, it stays out of power. Now, if it does die, I can get a replacement for this. Same company, same brand. It's actually an upgraded version. And it can be shipped within a couple days, so it's not gonna put me too far behind schedule if this thing does die permanently. It's just, for now, this is all I have to tune with, so I would like to keep the battery life uh, as long as I can. Oh, and hey, one last thing, one last thing. I got bored and I decided to add a thumb hole, so I'm going to show the thumb hole being in tune now, because I have to do that. Oh, shoot. Well, uh, that's embarrassing. Give me a moment. All right, I think I fixed it.
Yeah, if I go too fast, the tuner gets confused. Actually, I think it needs to be a little bit less flat. So let me take a little bit out of it, and let's see what I did. Perfect! That, that was ex- oh, that's great. Well, I think I'm done with it now. I'm gonna let it dry now, and... Well, that's it.